This is a video on how to make summer soap, and you can go to my blog and you can get the summer soap, fall soap, and winter soap recipes. They all generally work about the same. Here's your supply list of what you'll need, and you'll want to use a small jar to add your drops of essential oils to and kind of let the oil sit and blend together. Here is your essential oil mix for your summer soap. And you'll need an extra large plastic or glass bowl to add your fats and oils to to heat up. And here is the ratio you'll need of animal fat, shea butter, coconut oil, olive oil, on my blog, I'll give a detail on how you process your animal fats so that you can use those when you save up your extra fat from bacon and hamburger and that kind of thing. So from here you either microwave your fat or put it in a pot and heat it to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. It's okay if it's too hot at first. It allows time to prep your lye to get both of them to the same temperature. So go ahead and heat your oil. Now it's time to prep your lye. Use a glass bowl to put your lye into. Don't use ceramic or metal. They hold heat and it takes longer to get the lye to the same temperature as your oil. You'll need to get a cup of cold water and then add a cup of lye. You want to use cold water because the lye will heat up really hot. Make sure you use your safety gloves and your mask when doing this process. So lightly put the lye in there and mix it slowly. Make sure your mixture is mixed up thoroughly with no chunks of lye. Now bring your lye mixture and oil side by side and check the temperature to get to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the temp is the same, pour the lye mixture into the bowl of fat and stir. I realize you see me using a ceramic bowl. I forgot it took me forever to get the lye mixture the same as the oil. I actually had to reheat up the oil. So um, that's why I suggest using glass and not metal. You want to continue stirring this mixture until it begins to trace. And what tracing is, is when you actually lift this, the spoon above it, it actually falls behind and you see the drops. You, once it thickens a little bit, you want to go ahead and add a cup of goat's milk and a cup of jewelweed tea. Jewelweed's great for poison ivy and it's also good for skin. And the reason why we add the milk at this stage is so that it's not so hot that it separates the fats in the milk. So that's the reason why you want to add it after it's cooled a bit and thickened. Once it's tracing and you can see the drops from the spoon onto the surface temporarily, then you want to get your molds ready and you want to add your essential oils at the very end. And you want to go ahead and pour your essential oils in.
and stir for a little bit and now you want to add it to your molds. You can go for regular plastic molds or you can go for silicone, silicone molds which do really great. It's up to you what kind of mold you want to use. I find silicone, the soap pops out really easy. Now you want to pour your mixture into your mold. And then you're going to want to let them cool and harden overnight. Or for a full 24 hours. and then you pop them out and let them sit for two weeks to cure and then you're done. You have soap.